So I was just here yesterday and Evelyn was mad at me because she didn't get to come with me. And so she's sitting in the front seat of the van. Uh, and we are about ready to go in to this here Goodwill. This one. About brand new Crocs, but they're $25. Oh my gosh, those are awesome. This is interesting. Oh, now I see the price on it, 20 bucks. Man, that's pretty close. So sometimes these kind of jars, stoneware with faces on them can do well, but this one with a barcode is like gift shop trash instead of art, but sometimes that stuff can do well. Oh, there's some bobbleheads down there. Let's go see what that's about. Avocado. What did you find? Avocado toys together. <laughs> that's so funny. So these are probably going to be cheap enough that they make them worth getting. That's 310 Tony La Russa. 310, probably a stadium giveaway thing. This is somebody that. Shendines? I don't know who that is. Probably a, well, he's the manager from the, in the 90s. And Tony Larissa is at least a name that I know. Three bucks a piece. So these are a little bit of a sleeper. They're Calvin Klein branded. And there's all, there's 28 listed, but there's only uh, seven sold. So that's a 33% sell through rate, but the, no, it's a 25% sell through rate, but the lowest you can buy a single one for is $15. So if I list them, I mean, I'm $3 in. If I list them all three for $15 plus shipping, they'll sell real quick. I'll probably do like 25 plus shipping. Oh, and let me mention that the two items that I sold yesterday after I did the what sold, that was the short for that came out today, were the popcorn popper that I bought here yesterday and the GPS that I bought here yesterday. So, so far, just tiny breakable things in my cart. One that's, you know, tiny and breakable, but look at these doughs. Oh, well, hey, look, here's another Tony La Russa. I missed that one. Oh, look, we found another of that guy. And this baby's giggling now, buddy. And then she found a Vampirina toy. No, you. Well, I thought this was interesting because it's a red phone. Well, you open it up and it is Panasonic, not VTEC, and it's black. Revolution 1. I don't know what that is. This is a jet steamer oven. This. Oh, well, it's twenty-one dollars. Even I don't see the name brand on it, but even if I... okay. So I have a couple of questions for you guys. Do you ever do? But first, baseball bats. Everybody knows baseball bats are worth something. Are baseball helmets worth anything ever? And or are they like motorcycle helmets where you don't want to buy it because you don't know the history on it? And do you ever do any good on? rackets because they've got a bunch and they're cheap so these even at a dollar 84 would probably only sell for like 15 dollars for the pair so we're gonna leave them i'm gonna comp all of these and just see okay so these look like somebody ripped the price off of them uh but they're probably not worth getting anyway and then these old wooden ones can be good if they are the right thing, but that's not priced. This has some pretty impressive numbers. Like it sells, they listed between 25 and $50, but literally a 1% sell through rate. So this is what got me started thinking is this Babylon bag is probably well worth picking up. And then these other rackets look really nice. So we're gonna take a look at them. Well, hey, would you look at that? I didn't even know Hoka One Une made sandals these are in pretty nice shape i think we're deciding to put these guys back because at 15 dollars for the five so we have a knife up front that's like 550 
have these sandals that are seven and then this is two dollars one one and one and then abby has her thing but that doesn't count new cart item three dollars and ten cents i'm surprised that made it to the floor at all and it has manuals in it for pac-man and pokemon puzzle challenge so those are definitely Yeezys in the case. I can't uh, leave without at least taking a fresh look at them. Not that I would tell fake from real or um, no, have, have any idea what they're worth, but. So with my $10 coupon that I earned because I spent so much money yesterday, I only ended up spending $16 on everything. That Pokemon manual is probably in the $30 range for just that piece of paper by itself. And the case is probably 15 bucks. This was the knife that they had at the front. It says old timer on the handle. It's a Schrade 1470T. And it doesn't look like it's been sharpened too often many times. Nice knife, probably. I paid five bucks, probably at least the $30 knife. So I let Evelyn decide and we're back at another Goodwill. Uh, so this copy of Stitchopoly is sealed, it's $25. You can literally buy it for $24.99, cheaper technically, shipped on eBay. So that's crazy. And otherwise, there's a whole bunch of nothing in the toys. Like it's just a whole lot of not much. Um, I don't even know what these are. And they're five dollars. Captain America with a broken leg. I donated this. This is correct. These do not sell for n almost any, none of that because it's missing the bulbs, which is why it wasn't worth the $15 I spent on it a long time ago. Also, there were two, and I wonder if they broke one because there's not the other one. How about a Kirby for $13? Like, there are people who would part that thing out. Maybe I should send Centria. But this is what this Goodwill looks like. Like, are you kidding me? There's almost nothing on any of the shelves. It's sad. How about aluminum rockers? Those are pretty cool. But I don't think you'd have a very easy time shipping them with the rocker base. Anything else? Man, so much nothing. All the nothing in the world, man. And you find something that might kind of be something if it's cheap and it's $31. How about a new rack of clothes? Let's go look at that. So this would almost be worth picking up if it had the cord. It's $8.11. It's a Suitmaker 2204. Um, by Phillips and it's got about a 70% sell through rate and it probably would sell for like 30-ish dollars and the but yeah. the cord appears to be just a standard like computer monitor cord I always look into these things this says Befano um, I don't know how many monies it is three dollars and ten cents I'm not even sure what it is Probably you'd have some kind of thing there and press through it so it's missing whatever mold or slicer would be there. So 544 for an XL, this button down Hoosier Tire shirt. It's pretty cool, but I don't know how much, how well that would sell. Total bust at that store. Um, I think that's the day. Um, we looked at what sold already, other than things that sold last night on that uh, YouTube short. Oh, and this one more uh, Sega video game sold. So we'll get all of that shipped. Um, Abby found all kinds of uh, dolls in her box that she's in love with. Uh, yeah. If there's anything else to do, then I won't say goodbye right now. If we don't do anything else, this is the end. Thanks for watching, liking, commenting, subscribing, following, clicking the bell. Yes. Check out the links in the descriptions to find my eBay, Mercari, whatnot. 
and my other YouTube channel. We'll see you on the next one, guys. Thanks.